when we have video streams from internet, LAN, via cable or fiber, or using satellite box to get IP streams. How to convert the IP streams to ISDBT or other cable RF distribution? Let's look at the device S840-1. This is the interface. NMS for device web management. 3 gigabit network inputs. Each input supports maximum 128 IP input. 6 ASI inputs. RF output. 8, 12, 16, and 24 carrier output for options. S840 series modulator are very suitable for newly generation DTV broadcasting systems such as hotels, clubs, hospitals, and campus. Installation. It is easy to install and use. Let's do it together. The signal source comes from the network through the switch. Step 1. Connect the network cable to the Data 1 port. The Data 1 port supports both IP input and IP output. We're using it as an input here. Step 2. Connect to Network Management. Step 3. Connect Power Plug. Step 4. RF Output. One end of the coaxial line is connected to the RF output and the other end is connected to the ISDBT set-top box. Step 5. After the hardware connection is completed, we begin to set the parameters via web management. Choose the input channels and output.
Step 6. Search Programs. One device integrates a whole set of front-end system functions. If you have a five-building project, like campus or hospital, if one building have an IPTV, for the other four building, and you only want to upgrade the existing HFC system, only needs to tr only needs to transmit the existing IPTV channels to each building through network cable and each building only needs to add one such modulator if you have 100 channels each channel is 4 megabytes 100 channels asterisk 4 megabytes each channels equals 400 m one ISDBT frequency can transmit 23 megabytes. It can bring five channels. Five by 24 RF output equals 100 channels. We can see one set can achieve 100 channels. The range of difference between minimum and maximum frequencies can reach to 768 megahertz. Thank you. Subscribe and we'll keep updated.